Hello YouTubers, um, so welcome back to my channel. So um, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of something that I've already looked at um, simply because I did an unboxing video of this last night and then realised rather blatantly as, as I was looking through the recording that I showed my work address on the package. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the contents again without showing my work address. Um, it's And it's certainly worth looking at because I happen to think this is a really nice um, box this month for this particular subscription. This is Spotlight Stationery. Spotlight Stationery is what I'd call a luxury um, stationery um, box subscription. It costs £25 a month plus £2 postage and packing. So I guess it is actually quite expensive for stationery. But when you consider what you get for the money, I think it's definitely worth it. What you get is um, really nice um, really nice quality stationery which is something that you don't usually get um, with these stationery um, boxes I find. Um, I think this is certainly the best of what's out there even if you don't get um, a lot of items the items that you get are, are generally worth the money. Anyway, so it comes in a letterbox friendly package like this. So I'm going to open up and um, I like this on the inside look. It says, indulge your passion for stationery. And you're definitely going to be doing that with this particular subscription, I can tell you that. This month's theme, which is January theme, is, is it January's theme? No, it's not. It's December's theme, which is actually something that was delivered at the end of last month. Um, but um, as I was away at the time, for Christmas strangely enough, um, I didn't get it until a couple of days ago. So this is actually December's box. This month's theme is called East and it's a, station, it's a selection of stationery from Japan and Korea. So I'm going to go through it all again and um, I'll say it again, you haven't seen it yet but for me it's again and I'm going to show you what's inside um, for every month in this box um, you get like a little um, envelope here and in this envelope what you get is a selection of four postcards with designs that um, from um, basically young um, developing sort of designers if you like um, or new designers anyway, I don't know how old they all are, but anyway it says um, we're delighted to offer these very talented illustrators some free publicity through our stationery subscription boxes. And you get you always get these every month. So you have this one here. This is a fox, sort of cartoon fox in. Which I think is very cute. I'm gonna to try to do it justice. There you go. Then you've got this, which is effectively a cartoon picture of Amsterdam. It's very colourful. I like this one. This is basically a bottle of poison with a skull inside the bottle. And the last one is a very cute kind of. I guess it's a hare rather than a rabbit, isn't it? There you go. So you get four of these every month. They're all postcards. They're very useful to have. And um, they're actually really nice. And I like the way that they are sort of showcasing um, basically art from developing talent um, for free. Um, because, you know, to, to, to make your way in the arts world isn't very easy, from what I can gather. Anyway, so that's that. So on to the actual items in the box. First thing I'm going to show you are these very cool pack of pens. So this is um, these pack of pens are from Korea. Uh, it says iconic two ray decor pens, two nib rips of each of five bright colours, perfect for bullet journals or creative colouring in. So, let's see if I can open these. I didn't actually open these in the original video that I recorded last night, but I will now. So, let's just show you the one. Is this a good one to show? As good as any. So, they come like that. 
and you've got very different nib here and I think they're different widths to nibs and very different colours, that's a dark colour. This is a much lighter colour and you, well I don't know if it's a lighter colour or not but you can see it's a much thinner nib. Yeah it is with us. Um, so that's pretty cool and you get that, is it the same? Uh, it's, I think you'll find it's very similar colours, that's it. So I think both both ends are the same colour, but diff but the nibs themselves are much you know, are much uh, a different in terms of width. If you see what I mean, so this is thick, thick uh, rip, um, nibbed one, and this is a thin nibbed one. That's what it is. But it's it's the same colour on both ends. So that's a blue one. And you got a red one, orange one, green one, and yellow one. I actually really like these. I think they're going to be lots of fun. I should definitely very much look forward. Uh, I think this is probably my favourite item in this box actually. This um, selection of pens. I think these are really cool. Next thing I'm going to show you is a different pen. This is from Japan. This is the Tombow Reporter pen. And it's the most more grown up version of the multicoloured pens that were my favourites when I was a child and reading on the paper, right? And still are. So, you know, when you're at school and you had the pens like this and you pull down, you've got a different, different thing, yeah? Barrow with like a sort of carousel almost at the top, and you could choose different inks. That's basically what that is. That's pretty cool. And these are always quite useful, aren't they? So I guess that's a variation of what I was just showing you, but it's a, like a bar rover rather than a felt tip, basically. So that's pretty cool. Or marker. Um, so the next things I'm going to show you are a pack of two small notebooks. These are paper raised mini notes, and it says here, says here that these pocket notebooks come in a variety of different page types. It was very difficult to choose just two. These are from Korea. These are lots of fun. So you can see one is orange here and the other one is blue. And it shows you on the front what type of um, note paper's inside. So you can see this got like a sort of a honeycomb patterning on the front. Do you see that? And when you open it up, And that's what you get inside. Of course, my stupid camera never shows things properly, but you get the drift, right? So whatever you get on there is also what's inside the book, the pad. And there's this one here, which is the blue one. It's like um, lined paper. Yeah, lined paper. So there's thick colored lines and some finer ones in there as well. So when you open it up, that's kind of what it looks like. And they're pretty cool. I like those. And the last thing is uh, an amazing um, notebook. Probably my favourite ever notebook. I think it's great, this one. It's a Life Subami, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that, probably not knowing me. A5 notebook. It says Life has been making paper and stationery products in small batch quantities since 1949 with the aim of producing stationery to create culture. We've loved, we love the colour texture of this comfort notebook. So it comes from Japan. I really like this notebook. I think it's one of my favourite ones I've ever had. And it's got like sort of cream coloured um, paper inside in this line. So that's what all that's about. Yeah, and it says maybe in Japan. Well, that's pretty cool. So that is um, Spotlight Stationery for this month. Um, a lovely little array of notebooks and pens as usual. And also um, our postcards. So um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, please let me know what you think of Spotlight Stationery and how you think it compares with other stationery subscription boxes out there. It would be great to hear from you. Please um, say hello in the, the uh, comments below and don't, hit, don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. 
thank you very mu much for watching. I th I'm going to be da uploading this one and uh, Miss Flo very shortly. That's my battery. And uh, the next one after that will be the birch box. So thank you very much for watching and um, I'll be back soon with another unboxing video.